CBS 13 uncovers more makeshift homes in Stanislaw County along a completely different river in a completely different city. Lots to get to here at five. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tony Lopez and I'm Hunter Sowards. That's what we start with tonight. We were the first to show you the startling images in Modesto, fully furnished caves carved into the embankment, some with murals, even tiled floors. Residents sounded the alarm and after our report, well, the city and county moved in to keep people out. Tonight, we've learned the homeless are also setting up large shelters along the Stanislaus River near the city of Riverbank. CBS 13's Kayla Moeller is there live getting answers from the mayor about what is being done in that city on this issue, Kayla. Yeah, I am at the entrance of a trail that leads directly down to the banks of the Stanislaus River. I went down there with my iPhone earlier. I will show you that footage soon. But first, I want you to take a look at exactly where we're at right now. We are on the side of the highway, the 108 highway. And what's a bit scary is that a lot of these shanties are built directly below right here, and even some caves and tunnels and that has some neighbors concerned. I'm sure everyone that drives down Highway 120 there should be worried about it. These elaborate shanties have been taken down and built right back up many times over the last few years along the Stanislaus River in Riverbank. We showed you a similar situation in Modesto just a few days ago. As soon as they get kicked out, the night after they get kicked out, they go right back down to where they're at and they start digging and doing whatever they're doing doesn't seem like anyone could slow them down or stop them. Eddie Eagleton regularly fishes down the Stanislaus River and has been encountering these people for years. When CBS 13 went down one of the trails, this is what we saw. Eagleton says he often sees people digging into the riverbank, building caves and even wooden shacks. Pretty amazing what, you know, 15, 20 people can do in a night or two. You know, they got generators down there, they got power, they got water pumps. The reality is you need an actual solution. Last fall, the Stanislaus County Sheriff's Office partnered with the Army Corps of Engineers in an effort to make contact with the people living along the river. They tell me each person was provided with a 14-day notice that led to a cleanup, but they're still there. There's a very high priority. First off, there is pollution, um, and then it's, it's a danger to themselves and to others if that river happens to rise rapidly. The mayor of Riverbank says the city is well aware of the situation. They want to find a solution that doesn't infringe on anyone's rights, but that also considers the environmental and public health concerns from the community. They have their rights. Uh, they have a right to live on public property, according to, to the courts. Uh, the Supreme Court is going to take that up. So we'll see uh, there. The mayor tells me he will be addressing those erosion concerns around the uh, structural integrity of the highway with Caltrans.